Hey guys, it's Lainey, and today is Top 5 Wednesday. Today's Top 5 Wednesday topic is top actors slash actresses who have portrayed characters in book-to-movie, book-to-TV, book-to-whatever adaptations. This was hella hard for me, so I decided to only pick actors and actresses from movies of books that I've read first. So let's get started. I don't have my copy of the book she appears in, but coming in at number five is Ivana Lynch, who played Luna Lovegood in Harry Potter. This is actually my first copy of Harry Potter. As you can tell, it's very worn. And I think the funniest thing is that this was $6.99. That's what it says. Are they even $6.99 anymore? I don't know. I actually saw the movie before I read the book, so I didn't want to, as much as I wanted to include the trio, I didn't. I did read the following books before those movies came out, so I picked Ivana played Luna Lovegood because Luna was such an incredible, offbeat, very funny character, and I just have always really, really liked her. So that's why her portrayal of Luna comes in at number five. Coming in at number four is an actor, and that actor is Theo James, who played four in Divergent. It had been roughly a year since I've seen, since I've read Divergent and I saw the movie. So I was kind of like kind of forgetting different characteristics and different things like that in the movie. And while I was watching the movie for the first time, because I embarrassingly have seen the movie four times, which I've never done before. I've never seen a movie four times in theaters. However, Theo's portrayal of Four has got to be the best love interest portrayal, I think, in YA to movie adaptations that I've really, really liked in a really long time. Of course, I like Jess Hutcherson as Peta, but Peta is such the good guy, and Four, you don't really know if he's good or if he's evil for most of the book. So I really liked the mysterious personality traits that Theo brought with Four. I kind of fell in love with him all over again, and I forgot how much of a dick he was in the book, so it was really nice seeing him portray Four in the movie. Coming in at number two is Zoe Deutsch, who played Rose Hathaway in Vampire Academy. Of course, you guys know I have Vampire Academy on my Kindle. I loved Zoe's portrayal of Rose. I thought she was spot on. She had all the little quirks and jokes and sarcastic remarks as Rose did in the book. Since Rose's character is so strong as you read it, I was kind of nervous of how Zoe was going to portray Rose, but then when you're watching it, it's like everything just makes sense. It's like the voice in my head came right out onto screen. So that's why Zoe is at number three for her portrayal of Rose. Coming in at number two is Brad Pitt, who portrayed Achilles in the Iliad. Oh, since I saw the movie, I only read it once. And then I saw the movie for it, Troy, which is very loosely based off of the Iliad. But as a big fan of the Iliad, the movie was perfect in my opinion. Pretty much all the actors were spot on. I loved Orlando Bloom's portrayal of Paris and Eric Bana's portrayal of Hector. But back to Brad Pitt. This movie made me really love him. Like really, really love Brad Pitt. He was perfect for Achilles because Achilles is an arrogant asshole. And I feel like Brad Pitt is also that way. So he did very good, I think playing Achilles. And coming in at number one is Jenna Malone, who played Johanna Mason in Catching Fire. Here's the thing. I wasn't in love with Joanna in the book, and I've always liked Jenna Malone. I've liked her in the other movies she's she's done. Um, when I found out she was playing Joanna, I thought, okay, I like Jenna, and I think she's going to do very well with Joanna, even though Joanna's not even my favorite character in Catching Fire. So in November... When I saw Jenna play Joanna, I was completely mesmerized by her performance of Joanna. She made me love Joanna. Now I'm more excited to reread Mockingjay when she comes back. It makes me wish that she had a bigger role in Mockingjay just because I want to see Jenna play her more. For the way you portray a character, if the reader wishes you were in it more, then you've done your job and you have done a good portrayal of a character. I now am a big Joanna Mason fan. And that is all because of Jenna Malone. So those are my top five actor slash actress portrayals of my 
some of my favorite characters in book to movie adaptations. What are some of your favorites? I hope you guys all have a great Wednesday and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!